G'day slot car enthusiasts. So my latest addition to the racing garage is a Scalectric C3044 1969 Dodge Charger Dukes of Hazard. And because I previously had this Pioneer car without Bo and Luke representing the car from Season 7, Episode 10, Danger on the Hazard Express, where the bad guys get the General Lee and they remote control the General Lee. And in one part, they actually chase Bo, Luke and Daisy with the remote control General Lee. So... Obviously, there was nobody in the General Lee when it was chasing Bo, Luke and Daisy. So this is what this car represents. The remote controlled one. Now, the scale electric is good because it's to scale size, but the wheels are absolutely woeful. So I put a set of Pioneer General Lee wheels on. I also removed the seats and I put three point seven five millimeter evergreen styrene sheets, stacked them up to two point two five millimeters, and filed out the center section so the seats can sit in the proper spot. Of I'm doing another General Lee. This is the interior from it. So. When you, you want to remove these seats, you have to cut into that square there with your X-Acto knife. You have to carefully lever it in until you get in all the way around. If you're lucky, you'll get... There were two types of assembly of this unit, and there's one where the seat was snapped in and then glued from the bottom, so it's easy to remove, or... Like this one, you can see a bit of damage there. This one, the glue was put on the seat and then the seat was assembled. So then you've got a heap of glue holding the seat to the interior tub and it's extremely difficult to remove the seat then. So it's a bit of a hit and miss. Some are relatively easy some are difficult so I don't like the scale electric figure the first one of the first sets I bought was the Starsky and Hutch set and this driver here represents Detective Hutchinson and that's the first time I ever saw this particular driver figure so when this car came out and I saw Detective Hutchinson behind the wheel I was quite disappointed and it's good that Pioneer had the Bo and Luke figures. They put the extra money in. Scale Electric are tight asses when it comes to that. But So I also cut the headrest off seat. Cut the headrest off. And then file the rest down to get it level with the rest of the seat. And you actually can't tell that it's really been done. So, seats are raised 2.25 millimeters. That makes them look like charger seats. And what I've done is I've put both passenger side seats in this car because it's got nobody in it. Because the driver side seat has a hole in it for that bit. To stick into so just change the wheels can always put the driver figure in if I cut that square off his ass so problem with the scale tree is the zero one is too wide and the flag's not 
the best. So I'm hoping a set of Pado's decals will be better. I've bought some other decals, but they're not very good. I did get a number plate though. So, and it's Pado doesn't do number plate. So you have to buy someone else's decals to get a number plate because the number plate is the most important thing when you're trying to build a model car, especially if it's got a famous number plate such as the General Lee. Yeah. So that's the latest addition to the racing garage. One day I'll be able to put them all on the track again.